good morning i am devi sena in this lecture we are going to discuss about mobile ad hoc networks and introduction this topic is present in the subject wireless networks it is also present in ad hoc and sensor networks subject and mobile ad hoc networks that is managed subject mobile ad hoc networks a collection of wireless nodes is termed as basic service set that is bss ad hoc network is a network which comprises only a basic service set without any access point managers represent mobile ad hoc networks it is a collection of mobile nodes which self configure in order to form a network without the help of any established infrastructure mobile ad hoc networks representation is shown here this is a representation of mobile ad hoc networks here we are having two mobiles mobile a is having a range a signal range indicated by blue color mobile b is having a signal range indicated by red color mobile c is having a signal range indicated by green color this forms a type of mobile ad hoc networks mobile ad hoc networks that is managers are envisioned to become key components in the 4g architecture and ad hoc networking capabilities are expected to become an important infrastructure or centralized administration in general mobile ad hoc networks are formed dynamically by an autonomous system to mobile nodes that are connected via wireless links without using an existing network or centralized administration in general routes between nodes in an ad hoc network may include multiple hops and hence it is appropriate to call such networks as multi hop wireless ad hoc networks each node will be able to communicate directly with other nodes that reside within its transmission range for communicating with the nodes that reside beyond this range the node needs to use intermediate nodes to relay messages by hop types of manet here a single hop network representation the gadgets that is electronic devices connected between them is a single hop based it is indicated in the diagram multi hop network representation is shown here this is a representation of multi hop networks that is in this example we have more than one hop this is indicated in the diagram mobile ad hoc networking representation is shown below here we have a mobile router mobile devices fixed network the router and the end systems are indicated appropriately this is the representation of mobile ad hoc networking routing representation between the nodes is indicated in the diagram here we are having nodes in between the nodes the routes are indicated the dark arrow mark indicates the link between the nodes are good the light arrow mark indicates that links between the nodes are weak this is represented in the diagram characteristics of manets manets inherit common characteristics found in wireless networks in general and add characteristics specific to ad hoc networking 
first characteristic is wireless wireless means nodes communicate wirelessly and share the same media that is radio infrared etc second characteristic ad hoc based a mobile ad hoc network is a temporary network formed dynamically in an arbitrary manner by a collection of nodes as need arises autonomous and infrastructureless manet does not depend on any established infrastructure or centralized administration each node operates in distributed peer to peer mode acts as an independent router and generates independent data multi hop routing no dedicated routers are necessary every node acts as a router and forwards each other's packets to enable information sharing between mobile nodes wireless transmission range representation is shown here here is a representation the circle over the nodes indicates that wireless transmission range occurs between the various nodes that are available in the particular area here is an another representation here we are having a source as well as the destination in between the source as well as the destination how the information is passed is indicated in the second diagram mobility characteristic each node is free to move about while communicating with other nodes the topology of such an ad hoc network is dynamic in nature due to constant movement of the participating nodes causing the intercommunication patterns among nodes to change continuously ad hoc wireless networks eliminate the cons constraints of infrastructure and enable devices to create and join networks on fly that is anytime anywhere for virtually any application now we see the design issues and constraints the ad hoc architecture has many benefits such as self configuration ease of deployment and so on however this flexibility and convenience come at a price ad hoc wireless networks inherit the traditional problems of wireless communications such as bandwidth optimization power control and transmission quality enhancement while in addition their mobility multi hop nature and the lack of infrastructure create a number of complexities and design constraints now we see the design issues and constraints one by one in detail the first one is they are infrastructureless that is mobile ad hoc networks or multi hub infrastructureless networks this lack of fixed infrastructure in addition is being wireless generate new design issues compared with fixed networks also lack of a centralized entity means network management has to be distributed across different nodes which brings added difficulty in fault detection and management second constraint is dynamically changing network topologies in mobile ad hoc networks nodes can move arbitrarily the network topology which is typically multi hop can change frequently and unpredictably resulting in route changes frequent network partitions and possibly packet loss the next constraint is physical layer limitation the radio interface at each node 
uses for transmitting traffic and usually has limited wireless transmission range resulting in specific mobile ad hoc network problems like hidden terminal problems exposed terminal problems and so on collisions are inherent to the medium and there is a higher probability of packet losses due to transmission errors compared to wireline systems the next constraint is limited link bandwidth and quality mobile nodes communicate with each other via bandwidth constraint variable capacity error prone and insecure wireless channels wireless links will continue to have significantly lower capacity than wired links and hence congestion is more problematic the next constraint is energy constrained operation because batteries carried by each mobile node have limited power processing power is limited which in turn limits services and applications that can be supported by each node this becomes a bigger issue in mobile ad hoc networks because as each node is acting as both an end system and a router at the same time additional energy is required to forward packets from other nodes next constraint is network robustness and reliability in manet network connectivity is obtained by routing and forwarding among multiple nodes although this replaces the constraints of fixed infrastructure connectivity it also brings design challenges due to various conditions like overload acting selfishly or having broken links a node may fail to forward the packet misbehaving nodes and unreliable links can have a severe impact on overall network performance next constraint is network security mobile wireless networks are generally more vulnerable to information and physical security threats than fixed wireline networks the use of open and shared broadcast wireless channels means nodes with inadequate physical protection are prone to security threats the next constraint is network scalability current popular network management algorithms were mostly designed to work on fixed or relatively small wireless networks many mobile ad hoc network applications involve large networks with tens of thousands of nodes as found for example in sensor networks and tactical networks scalability is critical to the successful deployment of each networks the evolution toward a large network consisting of nodes with limited resources is not straightforward the next constraint is quality of service a quality of service that is qos guarantee is essential for successful delivery of multimedia network traffic QoS requirements typically refer to a wide set of metrics including throughput, packet loss, delay, jitter, error rate and so on. This is an example of an ad hoc network airport scenario. Here we are having so many types of ad hoc networks in this airport scenario thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means you can share this video to your friends